Welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. This week is our last video. I am ending my YouTube videos, and it's also Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Um, because it is my last video, and Christmas I have special, special polish today. Um, I actually splurged and bought some expensive polish. Um, as the title says, we are using Hollow Taco today. Um, and so this is the box that came in this morning. So I'm super excited. It might still be cold because it's been outside. Um, it came in a nice black box with a little, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got little tacos on it. And I got three different polishes that we are going to experiment with today. I have to open that off camera because it's going to hit the camera. Oh, that's got my name on it. Taking that out. <laughs> All right, so it comes with these really nice boxes. And we have, um, let me make sure I get the names right. Royalty Blue, which I got as a free sample. And I have the Super Glossy Taco, which I want to try with stamping and see how well it works. And then we have Rainbow Snow. So we're going to experiment with those today. And uh, we're going to do a Christmas look. going to do a snowman and some candy canes. Um, so let's get started. Get these out of the box. I like the packaging. And I'm super excited it came just in time to do my nails. So let's get that. Oh, and it says, hello, it's me. Hello, it's me. On the, so much, she's so creative. All right, so I have a base color, or base color, a base coat on right now. And she says in her videos that this can be um, uh, opaque in two to three coats. So uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way and not ruin my nails too much. So as I have said, um, this is going to be my last video. It's probably also going to be my most viewed video because of the content I'm doing. Um, and oh, it's so sparkly. Um, because this is my last video, I am still doing my nails. I'm just not shooting videos anymore. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's L's Nails 18. E L L E S N A I L S 18. Um, and I still will be posting my nails each week. So you can uh, still see my nail finished product. So I got my base coat on, and we're going to try the hollow taco. And it is still cold because I got it out from the front porch about an hour ago. It is so sparkly. All right, let's get started. And I am a flood your cuticles and clean up later kind of girl. So uh, cringeworthy if you're new here. I normally do this off camera for that very reason. It is very thick. <laughs> it's so sparkly. All right, I'm going to um, keep going here. I'll do one coat. All right, to save time, because nobody really wants to watch me paint my nails for 20 minutes, uh, I'm going to pause, do one coat, show you what it looks like, then do another coat, show you what it looks like, and then probably do a third coat and show you what it looks like. So I'll be back in a second for you, but it'll probably be a few minutes for me. All right, so this is my nails after one coat of Hollow Taco Rainbow Snow. As you can see, I did go ahead and unbox the other two polishes. I realized I need that glossy taco 
um, and I better open it up before my nails are all wet. Um, so um, this is one coat and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the second coat and I'll be back again in a second. Okay, so this is my nails with two coats of hollow taco. Um, I do think it will be opaque in three coats. You probably just get away with these two, but I like to have a third coat on there. So we're gonna do one more coat and then we're going to seal it in with the glossy taco. All right, so here I am with three coats of, um, what was it called? Rainbow Snow. Um, and it looks really good. I bet if I did the dabbing method, it would only take me two coats for sure. Um, but now let's apply that glossy taco and make it look even better, nice and smooth. So this is a super glossy taco, so it's going to be extra shiny. And one of the main reasons um, I wanted to get this stuff was to see how well it does with stamping. So we might completely ruin this hollow taco here in a few minutes. Oh, it's nice and, oh wow, I've never had a taco that thick before. That's what I was hoping for because if it's a thicker, uh, forgive me, I have kittens. Um, if it's a thicker um, top coat, it will uh, be less likely to smear with stamping. So I am really hoping that that is the case. Now, um, it doesn't actually say this is a quick dry taco, um, but Christine is known for using quick dry products. So I'm hoping that's the case. So. We're going to uh, apply this and then off camera, I'm going to uh, clean up my nails and apply a liquid latex barrier. And hopefully my nails will be dry enough to stamp by then. Um, generally you wanna wait um, 15 minutes or more to um, apply or stamp. So in theory, if this is a good um, quick dry taco, then it should be good by the time I do that. Um, that's one of the reasons I really like the Out the Door Top Coat brand is because it dries so fast. Um, when I did apply this, I did touch my nails a little bit and the, the dry factor is pretty good on it on its own. Um, so I'm hoping with this glossy taco, it's really good. I did, as I'm applying this, notice there is a, a different odor than I'm used to with nail polish. It's kind of a more plasticky smell, if I want to say, which is probably the result of why it's so thick. So um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I'm gonna clean up off camera and apply my uh, latex barrier. And hopefully my nails will be ready to go by the time um, I my latex barrier is dry. So um, I'll be back in a, another second for you. Several minutes for me. All right, so wonderful news. The Glossy Taco is a fairly quick dry top coat. In fact, by the time I was done cleaning up around the edges on my nails, it was pretty dry and ready to go. Uh, on additional note, um, if you're a flood the cuticles kind of person like I am, um, this is glitter polish. And so uh, it doesn't clean up very well. So use a latex barrier if you um, are a really messy painter, um, because I have hollow taco all the way down here on this nail, and uh, here, and I'm sure in many different locations, because um, it is a glitter, and that is perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. 
So what we're doing now is the moment of truth, the real reason for this video. We're going to stamp with Hollow Taco. Um, so uh, I am using the Royalty Blue and we're gonna do an accent nail um, with a snowman in blue. And then um, on, on my other nails to really give this super glossy taco a run for its money we're going to use bundle monster red polish which is known to smear and we're going to do sort of a candy cane type look with this stamp um, on its side it'll kind of look like a candy cane and so we're going to use those two polishes on our accent nails or on our other nails which is why we have the latex barrier on those nails so let's get started with, because by the time I'm done with my accent nail, we should be dry. So let's get started with our snowman. First things first, let's clean this off. I accidentally got hollow taco on there apparently. So that is done. Um, also have my lint roller as always. And my clear jelly stamper which was the only uh, redeeming quality of the KISS plate that we did a couple weeks ago. This is a really nice stamper. Um, always go clear, but you know, each person has their own taste and um, how, they, how the stamper reacts to your nails might be different. But first we're gonna clean that off on our lint roller. And I have a Kings Island Gold Pass as my scraper. Um, no matter what scraper I use, it seems that this one works the best. So we're going to use that today. And uh, let's try it on some Hollow Taco Royalty Blue. Wow. So I imagine that the um, One Coat Black would probably be a good stamping polish. Um, but that wasn't an option as a free sample. The royalty blue was, and I bet that it's going to stay up pretty well too. So I'm just going to apply that onto our snowman. And I'm a side scraper, so we're going to scrape. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to apply this uh, snowman to my nails because I'm talking. And he's lost an arm. <laughs> um, but I will apply the next one. This is just a test. And now I'm going to put him on my lint roller. And this will tell me whether he's a good stamper or not. Oh, yeah, that comes out pretty well. Nice and opaque. And so I had to get a new camera this week there was an incident and part of the reason why I am giving up YouTube is because I use my phone to do these videos and I got a new phone and it um, doesn't have the ability to store as much memory and then I uh, ended up having to replace that phone rather tragically um, there was water involved and now my new new phone um, holds a lot more memory, so it has the ability to have an SD card. So I'm like, well, I already said I was going to quit anyways. Um, but there are other reasons, the, the changes going on in YouTube and, and, and just me wanting to actually um, be able to see what I'm doing when I'm painting my nails. And... Um, it not taking me three hours each time I do my nails. You know, stuff like that. All right, so let's scrape, and I'm going to just go ahead and do it and not show you because when I do... Yeah, the snowman's okay. Um, actually, I'm going to do that one more time for safety um, because he's not picking up quite as well as I'd like. He's around the edges, so I'm... I'm not going to clean off, and I don't think that this is the polish's problem. This is more likely the stamp 
um, or it could actually be the stamper or the plate. He's got a hole in the middle. All right, let's see here. I said, I don't think this is a polish. I think this is just me. <laughs> you should. Oops. A little too carried away there. There we go. Put him, I think I'm going to put him lower. There's our little snowman. He's a blue boy. I don't know if I like a blue snowman, but he stamps pretty well. Um, not as good as a stamping polish, for sure. I can see the glitter underneath, but in a pinch, you can, can use this polish. So Let's move on to the red. I kind of don't want to ruin my nails with this, but it's Christmas and we want candy canes. I always do candy canes at Christmas. And today is Christmas. You know, I had a Christmas party the other day and I always give people candy canes and I forgot to give them their candy canes. I have these really nice candy canes and nobody to give them to. Ah, I'll see them again soon in the new year. Alright, let's do a scrape. It's nice. And candy cane it up. Very good. That looks like a candy cane. Let's do that two more times and then we'll apply our glossy taco. That pathetic cat. Well, it looks like the 4th of July on this napkin now. And one more time. We're going to actually, I think, now that I've shown you it on camera, and I'm not too happy with it, um, we are going to do one more experiment with our um, hollow taco, glossy taco. Which I will do when I'm done with everything else. There we go. That's it for the candy canes. So now let's peel off that latex barrier. And see what we got. Alrighty then. So let's apply that super glossy taco. I'll take this away so you don't see the ugliness. Let's apply that super glossy taco and see if it smears. This is the moment of truth, the reason behind this polish. Here we go. 
So when you're applying any sort of uh, top coat to stamping, you want to try to get a nice thick bead and glide over your nails. Try not to push down too much. And not all tacos are created equal. Um, so what I'm seeing on this taco is that it's not smearing at all. That is awesome. This is a really good taco. Um, I am getting a little bit of pink on the palette, the, um, the brush. So it is a little bit, but that's normal. Um, so now, oh, this is kind of rubbery. That's nice. So now, um, since I have that done and, uh, I don't really like how my snowman looks. We just did that to see how it stamps. I'm going to remove my snowman and see if this glossy taco is really all it's cracked up to be. If you have a good top coat on your nails, when you remove a stamp, um, you have one shot and um, if you remove it well, then uh, you won't have to redo your nail. So let's give that a try right now. And get a new uh, cotton ball out. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> that was amazing. I have never done it that easily before. This is a really good taco. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to clean up around my nails. Um, and we're going to do full candy cane on all our nails. And uh, which is what I kind of wanted to do in the beginning. Um, and then you can see the final look on Instagram. That's L's Nails 18. E L L S N A I L 1 8. And uh, so that's where we'll see you next time. I hope you like this video. It's the last one. So um, go back and watch the others if you want. I have a Dollar Tree one that's pretty popular too. Um, so we'll see you on Instagram. Bye.